what's up um this is the first final cut video editing tutorial thing and it's just going to be like a basic introduction to final cut we'll edit one clip just do some stuff to it show you around with the tools get you comfortable with all the different like windows and stuff like that um yeah so we'll start by importing some footage and I'm assuming that people know how to capture footage, but if you don't, just like ask, and I guess I'll make a video or just tell you whatever you want. And um, if you're using an external, you have to set that up in system settings and set everything here, and then set these three ones right here. It isn't that confusing. You just have to do it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to import a few files. And I deleted everything off my hard drive by accident the other day, which is the dumbest thing I've ever done. So these are the only things I have on my computer now. So, um, yeah, we'll start by just dragging this into the clip viewer. And the clip viewer is where you just view, obviously, some of the clips. And um, what you're supposed to do in here is mark the in and out points which is where you want the clip to start and end on the timeline. And you do this by stopping it where, stop, well, you don't need to stop it, but it's easier. If you stop it where you want it to start, press I and that'll appear and you'll see this right there. And then mark it out where you want it to end um, by pressing O. And you'll see that right there that right there. Obviously this isn't a good place to stop it, but yeah, just showing you how to do it. Um, and since you have these marked, what you do from here is you drag it over to the canvas and you're supposed to drag it to overwrite in case you have a song down here, it won't cut it up, it'll just go under it. Um, yeah. And just for future reference, you should be putting songs in A3 and A4, not A1 and A2. Um, yeah. Okay, so you'll see on the canvas that this, oh, look, it froze. Um, you'll see on the canvas that this is the edited, or not edited, but like the marked version of the clip. We still have the full clip, and it's still there as a full clip, but this is just the part that we wanted to show in the time. And if we want to edit this, like, oh, I don't want that to be right there, you just grab the end of it and move it down a bit. But, um, yeah. So, basically, now you know how to do the viewer, and you know how to mark stuff in and out. And, um, there's so many, in this program, there's so many little things that can, like, bug people. So, I'm probably not going to be able to show all of them right now, but I'll try and just show the main ones. Um, if you want the audio waveforms, these things right here, um, to be showing, what you want, what you gotta do for that is go to user preferences, timeline options, and show audio waveforms. And, like, you're gonna need to start a new sequence if you do that, because it doesn't affect the current sequence. So, yeah, that's kind of a bitch, but it, it's fine. It just, it's really helpful for cutting to the beat and stuff. And, um, yeah, a lot of other people might be used to editing, seeing them. So, there's that. Um, yeah. So, what I'm going to show next are the tools over here. Um, the main tool that you're going to be using a lot, obviously, is the blade tool, which is just used to cut stuff. Um, yeah, and I'm going to be using the sh keyboard shortcut for that, which is B. And the keyboard shortcut for the mouse selection tool is just A. So I'll be, like, switching in between them. Because those are, like, the most used tools. You'll also be using, like, the slip tool or the, um, what's that called? The roll tool. I think it's the roll. One of those two. For transitions, I totally forget. I haven't edited in a while. But, um, yeah. So, I guess right now I'll just teach you how to use the um, blade tool correctly. Um, and I know I keep interrupting myself, but one more very useful thing is to turn on 
um, where is it? Snapping. And what snapping does is that it makes whatever you're doing like snap to the end of a clip or if you want to cut a clip like right where your marker is and you have the blade tool it'll snap right to your marker and um, you want it to yeah and if you turn it off you can make like way more precise little cuts so yeah just wanted to show you that okay so what I've done is I've cut it this part right here is when he's in the air during the front side 180 and what I'm gonna do is just teach you how to throw an effect on that and slow it down just something to do um so what you're gonna wanna do is double click that little area and you'll see it appear up here and choose a filter any filter um, I'll just do a simple one desaturate which makes it black and white takes away the color um, yeah it looks dumb but um yeah that's how you just throw an effect on you're gonna want to drag it over to the filters and make this is like one of the most important things make sure you've double clicked the part that you want the effect to go on because people like will start dragging effects over to clips up here thinking it's the one they want but they really haven't selected it yet and they're just adding effects to random other clips that they already had selected and that can be really annoying to sort out so just make sure you like stay on top of what you're doing um yeah so that's just basically how to add an effect um there's a lot of stuff you can do with keyframing i'm not going to get into that that'll be a good topic i'll do that later um but yeah so the next thing that we're going to do is slow it down because i know everyone loves slow motion um and what you'll do is obviously just, just click the clip, modify, speed, and I'm going to go 75%. And like just right here, you can also do reverse if you want to go backwards, but that's dumb. So, yeah. Yeah. Just a little tidbit right there. And you see this green bar up here? Sometimes when you add an effect or edit a clip in some form, it'll be red. And what you'll have to do is select the part that's red and do Apple R to render it. And then it'll just be green or clear. And you can just go on with it. Because some effects like need to render out and it's kind of a bitch, but it's fine. Just letting you know. Like here. Like, I put Magic Bullet on, it's red, I have to render it, oh, look, it wasn't that hard, so, yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah, one more thing, if you want to add, like, a little fade in or out, you just right-click it and click Add Transition Cross Dissolve, and then, but um yeah that's just how to edit a quick little clip um any specific questions go ahead and ask me i'm totally open to helping people out um and just to clear things up i'm not claiming to be the best editor or filmer out there i just like really felt like helping some people out when i have time so yeah just like if you ask if you have questions like don't be nervous about it or whatever go ahead and ask but um yeah um so that was just basically how to edit a simple little clip get you comfortable with it and I'll have up some more videos on how to do more specific in-depth things too so get psyched for those um yeah not much else to say peace <laughs>